Good afternoon, family. How the hell are you feeling today? Okay, I was gonna say I need a little bit more livelihood, but hey, I'm gonna be comfortable because my home right here is on this stage. Thank you so much to the International Conference on Stigma for having me for the second year in the row. It's an honor, it's a privilege, and I am just really, really excited. And when I wrote this piece, it just really resonated with me because folks living with HIV, we always have that thing that we're carrying with us. We always have that burden we feel like. We always feel a little too heavy. So allow me to introduce you to my plus one. <clears throat> We met at the West End, west of Grand Central Station. He asked if I was looking. Yes, ma'am, what a sight to see. No, not Lady Liberty or Ground Zero, where we lost so many Americans but found so many heroes yet still wanting justice for all. Sorry. Back to the man of my eye. <laughs> I mean, the man of my night. He partied, eyes glazed over, jaws locking, teeth grinding. I was cool with it as I smoked my spliff, inhaled a good shit. So what was your name? <laughs> what a shame. There's no telling what else we didn't disclose. Thankfully, orange is my favorite color, yet I live by the red ribbon. Sometimes I regret my tattoo. When asked, while lying on my back with hands around my chubby waist, kisses on my face. Oh, damn. You caught a case? Y'all should have watched his smile fade. He went back to his place. Do you know what it feels like to scare somebody? To be the villain in someone else's story, stigma comes with the status. Sex is great. Sex is natural, whether with the lights on or <laughs> under covers. Everybody has sex. And because of my status, everybody knows I have sex. That's what sucks. I met a woman the same age as me, and she's had it my whole life. She's pro-choice, yet still didn't decide how she would come into this world. Didn't have the luxury to pick her battles wisely, didn't have the privilege to pack her own baggage, yet still got the stigma that comes with the status. And here I am, a statistic, trying to end the epidemic that caused so much hurt, so much pain. Nowadays, we can get to an undetectable strain with one day of being free of AIDS. At least we can hope. Of course, we'll celebrate. But I'll always remember the days I knew what stigma felt like. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>